I know, I know, I know. It's been a while since I did Dragon Ball. Life's been crazy. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I got into a car wreck last week, so I've been been dealing with that, um, doing physical therapy. Life's been challenging, but you know what? We gotta keep going. I appreciate you guys reaching out to me and messaging me about how I am and new content for the channel. And we're almost at 1,300 subscribers, so this is dope. Oh, and I've been kind of sick. You can hear it in my voice. But you know what? I owe you guys a video. What's going on, y'all? Evan you 7 here. back with another video. Man, it feels so good to do that again. And today, we're going to be doing a limited, eroded, and banless prediction. So before we start, be sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe because we're on the road to 1,300. Yeah. Now, I did look at DBS Lookout's video. And some of the, the cars that y'all saw in this video will be in this video. And there's some ones you probably won't see. But we'll start off. Um, number one, we do have Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku Beyond All Limits. I think this car should be limited to once because you're able to recycle the heavy beaters in the warp area. Um, it's, 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 it's too good. I mean, you get to add the six drop Vegito that came out. And run these at four, you're able to just replay them over and over again. And they also do pressure. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Bandai bans it, but I think a limit one, it could slow down the aggro. I know that, I mean, we're in the meta now where it's literally what like turn four, turn five, if you're able to deal with pressure. So that's my, that's my intake on that. All right, next one. So now I did see that this card. I think Damien mentioned it. It should be banned. I think dormant potential be a good limit one. Um, I don't think it should be banned at all. But I think a good limit one just so it could slow down some of the pressure of the game because with green being green now, it's is that is that a point now that it really could stop you from a full play, right? And you can't really do much with that, and it gives your opponent who are playing dormant potential way way much. More advantage than you when it's their turn. So I think a, I mean, plus you have testing the odds, you have shocking that ball. Um, but I think dormant at one should be good. And then that's what it also be challenging too for green players because now you'll know when to use it, when not to use it. I mean, that's that's my thought. And you can also replace it with the Manjin Boo 2 drop to where your opponent has to drop cards if they try to attack you. That's just my opinion. Next, we have uneasing awakening rage. I, so when this card got limited to where. Well, not limited. When he got eroded to where only green sand cards um, works, everyone was pretty excited. But this card has benefited more players that are green, uh, more green players in the game of Dragon Ball Super Card Game Masters because not everyone has the ability to use their Z energy to recycle. So, for example, since we have the six drop multiple awakenings, Son Goku, that's an advantage for me to use against my opponent because I can just keep swinging. But the overall players who don't have access to their Z energy, it could probably slow them down and actually not give them the cards they need in order to go against this particular card. So on these awakening rage being um on these awakening rage being limited to one would probably be a good idea. I don't think the card should be banned. I think a good one of moving forward should help for sure. Now I was very curious about this. Um I think Android 17, most valuable player, should be unerotic because it's Invoker. It's not that good. Okay. I don't think Invoker. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. What you going to do about it? I'm not. Yeah. Android 17 MVP should be unerotic because one, Invoker's not that strong. And that's most stuff that could deal with Invoker. So, Bandai, I hope you please take this card off because. We, we we need help and support. Okay, and another card I think should be taken off the list, but limited to one. And finally, I think Dirty Burst. Yes, Dirty Burst should be off the list and be limited to one. One, yes, drawing one card is amazing, and your opponent can attack with a battle card. It usually costs seven or more. Listen, this next set has a lot of big hitters being played, and it doesn't hurt to run just one. Just, just, just one. It, it, and blue is not in the best position right now, unless you're playing Manjin Boo. But I just personally think Dirty Burst should be free from this, from this issue. It for the prediction ban list video. What do you guys think would get hit, or you know, eroded or banned? 
Let me know in the comments. Thank y'all for putting up with my voice, even though it's been a crazy week. Anyway, guys, stay positive. I'm Evan U7. Have a great day. And remember, the Lord loves you. Bye. Oh, oh, and it's been going crazy.